for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of internal floating column and building which is of g plus 6 story building structural model by using StatPro V8A software. In my previous videos, I was explaining some of the concepts which are related to the external floating column and building design by using uh, ETAP software. You can check the video in the above cut link for the respected external floating column and building by using ETAP software. Okay. So firstly, I will show you the model. So click on the StatPro V8A software here. This is my building model, which is consisting of approximately the length of the building is 24 meter. Again, the width of the building is approximately equal to 18 meter. Okay. So firstly, I will show you the properties. Click on the general option. So for this building, I was taking the plate thickness, which is consisting of approximately 150 mm uh, thickness. Again, I was taking the column size, which is comes under 0 0.69 or 0.46 and beam size is approximately 0 0.46 or 0 0.46. I was taking the load cases which is comes under the both gravity loading condition systems as well as the latter loading condition systems. Now after applying all the load cases we need to analyze the structure. So for that go to analysis and print option, add your no print option, close option here. Go to analyze option here, click on the run analysis option, click on save option. So that it will do the analysis process for the respected building structure with the considerations of the different types of the load cases. Now here you can see it was doing the analysis process. We need to check for the zero errors. Now you can see here my model is obtained with zero errors. Go to post processing mode option here. Click on done option. Now we have to click on the apply option for the load cases. Click on OK option. This is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the dead loading condition system. Again in the same process I am selecting FI value. This is the shear force diagram. In the same process I am selecting the uh, MZ value which is nothing but the bending one diagram for the respective structure. So now we have to see the plate pressure value. Click on the plate value. Apply your stress type will be of maximum absolute pressure. Click on apply, click on OK. This is the maximum absolute pressure for the respective slab. So after analysis process completed, we need to design this particular structure under the considerations of the different types of the load cases. That is the important part. Okay. So before that, initially I will show you this model in rendering view. Click on 3D rendering view option here. Now you can see this is the G plus 6 building model, which is consisting of only the uh, external columns. It, it will not be consisting of any kind of the internal columns. So this building structure will be called as internal floating column and structure. Okay. So now we have to click on the modeling option for designing process. Click on the design option here. So firstly, we have to select the concrete design from this particular options. Next, I am selecting the IS codal provision, which is comes under uh, 456 codal provision. Click on select to parameters initially. Firstly, we have to deselect all the parameters. From this, we need to pick compressed and the yield strength, the yield strength, the shear enforcement, maximum and maximum secondary. Click on OK. Again, I am selecting defined parameters. So for this building, just I am considering grade of the concrete will be comes under 30,000, which is of M30 grade concrete provision. Again, I am selecting FY mean, which is comes under the 500,000. Just I am selecting 500,000. Click on add option. Again, in the same process, I am selecting FY section reinforcement, which is comes under the 500 grade, 500,000. Click on add option. Again, in the same process, I am selecting maximum mean, which is of 16 mm diameter bar. Click on add. Maximum secondary, just I am selecting here 12 mm diameter bar, click on add, close option. Select the commands option here, click on the design beam, click on add option, click on design column, click on add option, click on the slab element command, click on add option, click on take off option, click on add option, close option. So here we have to assign this particular question marks for the building. Select FC by using assign to view, assign yes option. Select FY main by using assign to view, we need to assign yes option. Again, in the same process, I am selecting section reinforcement, which is also comes under assign to view option, assign yes option. Select to my examine by using assign to view option, assign yes option. Again, I am selecting secondary reinforcement, click on assign to view, assign yes option. Select design beam option, go to select option, beams parallel to X condition system. Again, in the same process, we have to select beams parallel to Z condition system, click on assign to selected beams, assign yes option. Go to select the design column. Go to select option, beams parallel to Y direction condition, click on assign to selected beams, assign yes. Select design element command by using assign to view, assign option, yes option here. So after that we have to do the analysis process again. Go to analysis and print option, add your no print, close option here. Go to analyze option here, run analysis option, save option. 
again we have to check for the zero errors with the considerations of the designing section now we can see here my model was done with the designing process it was obtained with zero errors again go to click on the post processing mode click on done option so we have to deselect the deflection diagram initially so again we have to select the beams which are, comes under the last floor just i am selecting this particular beam double click on it click on the concrete design so it is showing the complete reinforcement design is just for the particular column section which is consisting of four bars of 12 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and four bars of 12 mm diameter at the uh, top reinforcement section for the right side again at the bottom also consisting of same amount of the reinforcement values again in the same process we have to select the columns click on the concrete design now we can see it is required approximately 12 number of the 12 mm diameter bar for this respected column consideration so after designing the beams and columns we need to design the foundation just i am selecting foundation design option so here i am selecting the load cases which is comes under the dead load or uh, earthquake load wind load as well as the live load condition click on include option click on the run stand foundation option the fixed supports for this respected particular building will be directly imported to start foundation software in start foundation software we can easily do the designing process of the isolated footing or combined footing depends upon your consideration so here i am selecting uh, this particular loads and definition before creating the load cases so click on the uh, create load combinations option or else you can directly click on the generate load combination option so you can select the indian standard system so click on the generate load combination option here so again in the same process we have to click on the generate load combination for the ultimate load combination system click on generate load combination here so that it will uh, develop the ultimate load combination system for the particular structure so after that we have to close this option so select the job setup option just i am selecting here create job option so here we have to uh, select as internal floating column one building internal isolated as per the indian standard system so here i am selecting indian standard system assigned to all supports select the load combination which is comes under this particular 101 102 201 202 203 204 click on include option click on create job option so that it will create the isolated footing job on the left hand side here like this so you can click on this option click on this option concrete and rebar values here this is the cover and soil type you can change the bearing capacity of the soil from 100 to 180 or 200 depends upon your consideration so you can click on this footing geometry option sliding and overturning option click on design option directly click on s option so that it will start designing your respected isolated footing design according to the is codal provision of 456 2000 standard system now you can see it was done with designing process you can click on any one of the foundation so it will show you the complete reinforcement design results and calculation part which is comes under this particular uh, foundation so this is a starting point this is a geometry this is a details and drawing so which is comes under the reinforcement values for this particular member here okay this is the reinforcement diagram which is comes under this uh, particular structure so you can click on the geo drawing this is the calculation sheet okay so this is a complete process of uh, analysis and designing of uh, internal floating column and building by using start pro v8a software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you